Uh, hello guys, um, I want to do a movie review of a movie that I just finished watching today. I just found it, found out about it today and then I watched it today. So basically the movie is Soul by Pixar, Disney Pixar. And the only reason I knew about it was um, today I was on Instagram on my phone and I was looking at people's stories and in between people's stories sometimes an ad will pop up and an ad for Disney Pixar Soul popped up and I'm like, well, how come I never heard about this movie from Pixar? Because normally I would know about this, but I just heard no buzz about it. And I'm really surprised I didn't hear anything about it. Um, but I guess maybe because I haven't been going to the cinemas much because there hasn't been that many movies out um, this year. Um, but anyways, I found out about it and then I just quickly Googled and it was on Disney+. Plus. It just started streaming that day, like the 20th... Actually, the day after. The 25th was yesterday. Today was the Boxing Day, so 20th. So I found out about it a day after it started streaming and then um, I did look up some reviews about it as well and the reviews were like, oh this is a masterpiece, it's really really good. So I'm like, okay, well, I really should watch this. And so um, I set aside everything I was going to do tonight. So after dinner, uh, besides going out to look at uh, Jupiter and stuff with my binoculars, <laughs> um, after that, I then I, <laughs> and then I watched um, PewDiePie had a PewDiePie, the YouTuber, had a video on Animal Crossing, and I like Animal Crossing. So I watched that, which is half an hour. So after that, then I settled down in the living room to watch this movie with my popcorn bucket, my onward popcorn bucket that I got from White's. Anyway, this, sorry, this is a really long intro to the video. Uh, hopefully, but you saw how long this video is when you clicked on it. Anyway, I really didn't know what to expect about this movie, except that I think one of the articles, I because I tried not to read too much about it, I skimmed through it just... To get a kind of gist about what it's about but they said it's Pixar's most ex ex I don't know what the word is exist exist <laughs> to say it, I know when I read it and when I hear it existential crisis <laughs> exist that one <laughs> you know how thinking about life basically and existence and stuff and it really is the probably I would say the most that of that type of movie I don't know why I suddenly don't know how to say it but anyway, it's about that. Um, I'll say uh, the brief plot is basically there's a guy here. I think from the voice, I think it's um, Jamie Foxx. I'm pretty sure it's Jamie Foxx because uh, he's got a distinct voice. And he plays this um, teacher. He's a teacher of like, he's a part-time teacher, but his real dream is to become a jazz pianist and or jazz musician. And... Um, so he's teaching like primary school kids or high school kids about you know the band music and stuff part time, but he doesn't want to become full time. Uh, but his main dream is that. And then I don't know how much else I want to say, but basically the movie, it's uh, about life. There's um, it features the afterlife and things like that. Uh, I won't say too much about it because it was kind of fun just to be surprised by this movie and. Um, Firstly, I want to say the movie is like really original. Like, like I often like, like often when you go see a movie, um, you feel like some movies are very formulaic, formulaic, formulaic. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> um, where it's like you feel like, oh yeah, they're just following these checklists of like things that typical movies like, you know, you got the main person and the antagonist and then drama happens. You know, step, step, steps. You know, and it resolves. It's like a very much formula, which is fine right because most movies are like that and like a lot of movies I feel like they want to be blockbusters or appeal to a lot of people they follow this and it's really rare that you see a movie that doesn't and a lot of times it's like an indie or art house type of movie and so I feel like this movie was almost in that kind of realm where it's like um really brave and doing its own thing and I love that and it's funny how being for them making this movie, that I'm sure they were like, I don't know if they were or not. Maybe they just naturally are brave with their, deci their decisions and stuff. But I felt like a lot of the decisions in this movie were really brave and it just like really went like left of center of what the main, I feel like the general pop population, you know, expect in a, like a, a cartoon animated movie. Um, yeah, it went really uh, philosophical in a way or just showing things that were a bit like is esoteric a word I'm not sure like kind of like spiritual not spiritual but like kind of with um yeah like the afterlife and that stuff um so I don't know how else to say it but basic without spoiling it but it's um 
yeah, so that things happen, and, but it's actually kind of fun too. And in some senses, it's like a buddy movie. You know how like in the eighties there was like those buddy cop movies. Uh, like two guys, two cops and stuff, and they have different personalities. It's kind of like that in a way. So that's like uh, a lot of the movie is like that, and I really enjoyed that. So when that was happening, I was thinking, oh, this is kind of throwback to like the eighties kind of movies. I remember that kind of stuff it was fun. But um, what I want to say about this movie, it's just to sum it up, is like one of the best movies about life that I've seen. I just feel like um, it really kind of goes along with how I think about life and things like that. Like, I really agree with kind of, like, what it's trying to say and stuff. But um, I won't say too much about it, except, yeah. Um, so I'm not really sure, because it's hard, because it's really a, a movie that's not typical, so I don't want to say too much about it. So, yeah, it does feature afterlife and that kind of stuff and spirits and things like that. But, um, and the meaning of life and purpose of life, that kind of stuff, which I really f- like. I mean... Because, like, I think about it during the day sometimes, you know, just trying to, like, remember like, what's important in life and things like that. Um, so I'll probably wrap it up like that. <laughs> but, yeah, I the movie really won me over because I went in not really knowing what to expect at all. Like, really, and I didn't really read any review too much fully. I just could glance at it to kind of get an idea and stuff. Um, and but people loved it, so I fast-tracked it. And so i got to watch it now. And so I'm really glad I did. Um, I, look, I really, really like the movie. Have I shown you photos of it? <laughs> Just to, so you can see what it looks like. I took a photo, some screenshots, so they could upload to Facebook and that. So that's the main character. Um, and yeah, the spirits and stuff. But yeah, uh, I'll keep it short. Um, if you like movies that are about life and make you think about life and what's important and stuff like that, I think you'll really like this. You know, maybe you will, but I really liked it a lot, so... I'll wind it up there and um, Pixar when I was watching this I was thinking wow Pixar are in, are in their own league with this kind of movies like um, with this movie that kind of stuff haven't seen many other movies like it um, and that's all I want to say uh, com- good good job Pixar and Disney <laughs> very good job and all the voice actors fantastic and I love the character of 22 when you watch the movie you'll know who 22 is I really like that character alright see ya <laughs>